A new study aims to see if people can be identified from far away based on their body movements. Very interesting story here. A UNL professor is leading the study and the University of Nebraska could receive up to $1 million for this research. Channel 8's Yosef Nasser went to the Hadlock Research Farm to learn more. What if you had the ability to verify my identity from all the way over here? Now you could zoom in on me, the problem is I'd be very pixelated. This is one reason why a UNL professor is trying to see if he can use things like mannerisms and gait to see if long distance identification is even possible. What we're looking at is, is just trying to push the frontier in terms of public safety. UNL professor Benjamin Riggin is leading a research program to stretch the limits of what's possible when it comes to identifying people from far away. So what we have here is one of our towers. This week, Riggin and his team are setting up towers at Havelock Research Farm where cameras will hang. Because images get distorted the further away you are from them, Riggin and his team are looking to see if they can identify individuals using other characteristics like their mannerisms. We would call that gait, how the person moves and behaves. He's in the process of recruiting 200 volunteers to be a part of the study. Trial participants will circulate right about here in between these two buildings, about 500 meters to the tower that's to my left. Another tower will be set up right around that grain bin behind me. In total, three camera angles and a drone will be used for this research. It's got a lot of potential and I mean, it's got its military uses. It's also got some civilian uses, maybe tracking criminals. Of course, a study like this could raise concerns about privacy. We're interested in developing this technology um, for the purposes of public safety and making sure that we can maintain uh, a certain level of privacy while also providing certain benefits to society. The University of Nebraska could receive up to one million dollars for this research. Success for us would be just to understand the effects of turbulence and how much degradation that actually plays a role. We're definitely not there, but we're trying to, to push as far as we can. Yosef Nasser reporting for us. By the way, appointments for this research study are available from July 16th to July 29th. People who volunteer will receive $100. They will be asked to do some basic activities like standing, walking at a normal pace, and turning in a circle.